A merge conflict can occur when two developers make changes to the same code. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to resolve this type of conflicts. We're going to be using source tree and a diff tool called melt. Welcome to Atomy Now. I'm Marco Cruz. Let's dive in. And on your screen, you see three separate windows. On the left side, I have source tree opened and I have checked out this repo called test repo. On the top right, we see the repo on GitHub. In the bottom right, we see the folder where this repo is located in my computer. Now let's begin making some changes to this repo. And for that, we're going to go to source tree and click on this button that says git flow. And we're going to start a new feature. So let's click this. We're going to call this feature update weekdays class. And then click OK. Here we see the new feature branch and it's currently checked out. Next, we're going to look at the bottom right here. This is where this repo is in my computer. And this is the class that we're going to be updating, weekdays.java. So let's go ahead and make some changes to this class. I'm going to right click this and edit with Notepad. And here we can see what this class is doing. And here we see a string array containing the days of the week. And then we have this for loop which prints each item in the array. And what we're going to do is to remove two items from this array here. We're going to remove Sunday and Saturday. And then we're going to save this. And now close this. These changes are now going to be reflected here in source tree. As we can see here, we have some stage changes to the weekdays class. If I click this, we can see on the right what has changed. Two of the days are missing. And now let's say that we want to commit these changes and push them to GitHub. But before we do that, somebody else comes along and makes some changes to the same class. So we're going to mimic that now. We're going to go to GitHub and open this file called weekdays.java. And here we can still see all the days of the week. We're going to edit this file by clicking this pencil here. And then we're only going to remove Sunday. Then we're going to scroll down and click commit changes. And now you can see the difference. On GitHub, we can see six days in this array. But locally, we only have five days, Monday through Friday. Now, as soon as we committed the changes here on GitHub, that caused our local branch to be out of sync with the remote branch. So now we need to go to source tree and pull the latest changes from the remote. Now, I'm going to leave these unstaged files here, and I'm going to attempt to pull the changes from the remote. I'm going to click this button that says pull. And then in the remote branch to pull, I'm going to select main. And then I'm going to click pull. And notice that we get this error. It says your local changes to the following files would be overridden by the merge. And this is the file weekdays.java. And it's also giving us a suggestion. We can commit our files or we can stash them before we merge. So let's close this window here and cancel this. And we're going to stash these files away to be able to pull the changes from the remote branch. So I'm going to click stash here and then click OK. Notice that on the left side, we have one stash now. Now I'm going to attempt to pull again, select the main branch. And the reason why I'm selecting the main branch is because this is where the change was committed to. On the right side, we can see this is the main branch and this is the change. Now we're going to click pull. Great, that went through without any errors. Now we have the latest changes from develop branch in our feature branch. Now we want to bring back those changes that we put away in this stash over here. So I'm going to right click this stash and say apply the stash. And this is going to be applied to our feature branch. Update weekdays class. Then it's asking us to confirm this. Before clicking OK, I'm going to select this box to delete this stash after it has been applied to my feature branch. And notice what happened here. It says that there is a merge conflict in weekdays.java. Notice that it did not delete our stash because it was not able to complete the merge. So let's go ahead and close this. And then this window defaults to the file status. And here we can see the conflicted file. This is weekdays.java. If we go to the onstage file section and we click this file, we're going to be able to see over here what is going on. Notice what happens when there's a conflict. We see these angle brackets followed by updated upstream. Let me move this over here so we can see the whole thing. And here we can see what is happening over here. And this updated upstream refers to what is on GitHub. This right here is what we have on GitHub. Notice that Saturday is included in the array. Then we have this equal signs. This is what divides what is on GitHub versus what we have locally. And locally, we have only five days in this array. Then we have some more angle brackets followed by stash changes. 
Now, I don't recommend that you try to resolve merge conflicts within source tree. There are many diff tools available that make this job a lot easier. And we're going to be using one of those now. It is called Meld. Please check the video card above to learn how to set up Meld with Git. In my case, I already have this tool set up. And all I have to do now is click on this button that says Terminal. And in this window, I'm going to type git merge tool. Merge tool is all one word. And then we're going to press enter. This is going to launch melt and it's going to allow us to resolve this conflict. And this is what the melt interface looks like. It consists of three separate windows. In the center, we're going to see weekdays.java, which is the original file that we had. And then on the left here, we see the same file name weekdays underscore local underscore some number dot java. This refers to the local changes that we have made to this file. On the right side, we see weekdays underscore remote underscore some number dot java. And this refers to the changes that are currently located on GitHub. So again, the middle is the original file. The left one is our local changes and the right one is the remote changes. There is one more thing I want to show you. Anytime that we have this diff tool open, we're going to see that in our local folder, there are additional files created. And these are temporary files. You can see here the weekdays underscore backup, underscore base, underscore local, and underscore remote. These are temporary files that will go away as soon as we decide which changes we want to keep. And after we close melt, we're only going to be left with one file, which is this one here, weekdays.java. And that file will contain the changes that we decided to keep. And now let's say that you want to keep the changes that you have locally. In that case, we're going to move the changes freer from the left all the way over to the right. And we do that by clicking on this arrow right here. So we click on this arrow. And what that did is that it moved the change from the left over to the center. And now the center will contain that extra day, Saturday. And we can see that it's highlighted here. And now we want to move the change from here over to the right so that the remote can also contain this change. So we click on this arrow again now we see a new message here across the board and it says file are identical meaning that all of these files are now in sync if you ever want to undo a change you can hit ctrl z on the keyboard or we can click the undo button here let's say for instance that you want to keep the changes from the remote in other words the changes that the other developer made in that case we would go over here to the right and then click on this left arrow that'll move the change over to the center and then click on the arrow again and that would cause the remote changes to override the changes that you have made locally. Let me click on do one more time. And the last option that you have is to keep the original file. In this case, we want to keep all seven days. And for that, we want to move this change from the center over to the left. We do that by clicking on this arrow here. Then we have to move this change over to the right as well. So the first option is to keep your changes. The second option is to keep the changes that the other person made. The third option is to keep the original file, but there's also one more option. Let me click undo here. We can not only select to keep a given change, but we can also edit a file. Let's say that we want to keep the changes that we made locally, but we also want to make some additional changes to it. So in our case, let's just say that we want to have Monday through Thursday. In that case, we're going to remove this right here. And then we're going to move those changes from here over to the right. We're going to move it like this. And then we click on this arrow one more time to move the changes across the board. And notice that now the array contains Monday through Thursday, both locally as well as in the remote. Once you're happy with the changes, you can click save. And then we close this window. In this window here, we're going to select save. And notice what happened here on the bottom right. Remember those temporary files that I talked about? They have now disappeared and it only kept the file that has the changes that we wanted to keep. Now I'm going to click here on the source tree window, and this is going to update the changes that we just made. And notice that the weekdays class no longer has that icon with the exclamation mark. It now has a new icon showing that the file has been modified. If I click this, we can see the changes that are happening. Whatever is highlighted in red represents what used to be there. And whatever is highlighted in green represents what is new to this file. So in essence, we have removed two days from this array. And that's how you resolve a merge conflict. Thank you for watching Automate Now. I'll see you in the next video.